Yo. Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Bond. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to six, and the general manager of Dan Cummins, a Chevrolet Buick in Paris, Kentucky, the second largest used car franchise dealer in the United States of America. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. What up, what up, what up? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind special Sunday morning episode. We've got a special Sunday morning episode going on here in dedication to my incredible friend, Michelle Marie Sari. I always say that like Sari because it's SRI. I'm not 100% positive. That's the way it is. But that's how I'm rolling with it. Even so, whether it is or whether it's not, because it's okay either way. Hey, check it out, everybody. We have been rolling this incredible 24 hour Facebook Live a thon, right? You're probably like, what the heck is a 24 hour Facebook Live a thon? And I am going to dive into all of that, explain that to everybody exactly what that is here as we get rolling this morning, this Sunday morning on hashtag Rise and Grind. So, will you guys do me a favor? Go ahead and hit that share button. You know how we do. Hit that share button. Let's get a little bit of music going on. And let's get everybody rocking and rolling because I'm only rolling on two hours of sleep right now. So I got to get moving. Right? You want to go with this one right here? That one feels good, right? That one feels good. That's right. Let's get everybody up in here. Get everybody going this morning. One of the things we do here on Hashtag Rise and Grind is we change the way people start their day. It's incredibly important, right? We don't like to start our days with all kinds of negativity. We don't like to start our days slow. We don't like to start our days like that. We like to start our days with positive vibes, right? That's right. Today we're representing Quick Page. We're representing the bright queen, Quick Page, here on Hashtag Rise and Grind. How's everybody doing this morning? Who's up in here? If you hit that share button yet, we got important stuff. I want to say good morning. Not a lot of people in here yet, because it's Sunday morning. I know how people are on Sunday, but that's okay. We're gonna get, we're gonna, I'm going to be here for a half hour, so we got time. Jeffrey Lee Parton, good morning, my friend. Thank you for being a part of the 24-hour telethon. Thank, I really appreciate it. Christopher Campbell, good morning, my friend. Thank you for being a part of the telethon. Scott Simon. I can't, now I'm calling it a telethon. I've been calling it a live thon all night. Two hours sleep. Scott Simon's my man. Good morning, sir. Welcome. You're not going to believe it, Scott. Throughout the evening, we have already raised $7,500 for Michelle through the wee hours, the crazy hours, right? The 2 a.m., the 3 a.m. We were able to raise $7,500, and we're just now getting going. It's been an incredible night. Josh, oh, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Scott Fielding, good morning. How are you? Chad Morgan, my man. I know you guys are feeling the love. I know you guys are feeling the prayer. Gotta be, man, because it has been crazy. It has been impactful. It has just been unlike anything I ever expected. So cool. Dario Rosario, good morning. Amanda Russ, good morning. Monty Dark, good morning. My girl Bambi, what up? What up? What up? I'm going to keep rolling with some more tunes because we really got to get things going in here. My friend, hey, check it out, my boy Jabbar Nichols out there in Arizona. What's up, my man? Good morning, good evening for you, I guess I would say. What's up, Rich Dessert? How are you? Cedric Glover, Rick Amity, my man. Everybody's starting to get up in here on Hashtag Ride and Ride. Ready? Hey! Let's go. Come on. Come on. Get it going. I, got, I need it. I need your energy. I need your love. Can you guys throw me a good morning? Just say good morning to me. Say good morning to each other. Let's hit the share button. Let's get everybody up in here. Because this is a special what of a kind episode of Hashtag Ride and Grind. Y'all feel that? There we go. Ah. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! All right. Okay. All right. Hopefully you guys like this enough. Maybe. Maybe you guys are digging the music. I don't know. 
You tell me. You might be really digging it. Might be done with it. Could be either way. What's up, Marco Brittany? Good morning. Hey, guys, we've been doing something incredibly special. See this young lady? Oh, look. Too early. See this young lady right here? This is my friend Michelle. My friend Michelle is one of the most incredible, most powerful human beings I've met, man. She's just got this this aura about her, right? You know, you just meet certain people and they just, they kind of, they have, there's something special about them, right? And see, Michelle and I, we've only, you know, shook shook hands on, on one or two occasions. I haven't been able to spend, uh, regretfully, I haven't been able to spend a lot of time, you know, around her. She lives on the other side of the country. But I can tell you, in just a very short amount of time that I got to spend with Michelle, she made a, she made a huge impact on me. Her and Chad both are just two, they're just two very unique individuals, man. Two very uh, uh, different souls. Just two diff very different souls. And when you meet them, it's impactful, right? You know those people that you just meet them and, and, and you, can't, you can't let go of that connection, right? Once it happens. And so I got to meet Michelle, you know, not too long ago, just a few months ago. And now, Michelle, if you go, uh, there's going to be a link that somebody will post in the comments here. I may have posted it uh, in the uh, title. If I didn't, I meant to. There's going to be a link that says fightwithmichelle.com. And basically what this link is, is our friend Michelle, my friend Michelle, I keep doing the wrong hand. My friend Michelle, she's got a fight in front of her, you see? She's got a fight. And if you go to her website or her page, if you go to Michelle's Facebook page or you click on that link, there's a video where she kind of tells the whole story from get to go of how she found out that she or she suspected she might have something going on with her. Then it went to the next step where they thought, oh, there might be something seriously wrong with you. And then she went and got some scans and it turns out she's got stage three breast cancer, right? I don't mean to spoil the end of the story there. You'll watch it in the video. But she's got stage three breast cancer. And it, it's they're not really sure where it came from. It didn't initiate there. And so that's even more troublesome. And she's got three teenage boys that she's got to take care of, right? And she's still got an impact that she's wanting to make on this planet because she's this incredibly special human being. And so she's dealing with all this right now. And my good friend Lisa Copeland reached out to me and she said, Glenn, what are we going to do to help? Which I love the way she stated it. She said, Glenn, what are we going to do to help? She didn't say, Glenn, how are we going to help? She didn't say, Glenn, should we help? She said, what are we going to do to help? And instantly I had a thought pop into my head. I thought, let's do a 24-hour Facebook live-a-thon. I had an image of the old school telethons where there's people on for 24 hours, raising awareness, picking up the phones, and receiving donations, right? Then I had an image of, of Josh Cummins' church where someone has been in that church praying over that church. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for I don't even know how long, right? And so I put the two together. I thought, well, what we need is we need prayers, we need shares, and we need dollars, right? We need prayers, shares, and dollars. So I thought, well, let's have a Facebook Live-a-thon. Let's get 48 people across the country to each sign up for a 30-minute segment, 30 minutes where you go live from wherever you are, and everyone will go, and they'll share your live. So there's where we'll get our shares, and while you're Live, I want you to ask people for prayers and offer your prayers so we can pray for my friend Michelle, so we can pray for her healing, so that we can pray her family can get through this troubling time. So we've got the shares and we've got the prayers. And while we're at it, my good friend Ken Walls set up an awesome website that goes to a GoFundMe where we can get the dollars, right? Prayers, shares, and dollars. And that's what it's about today. That's what we're going to do today. So if you're watching this video live or you're watching it on the replay, you're wondering why are we doing a Sunday morning episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind, that's why. Because for 24 hours straight, we've already been going for five and a half hours. We've already raised over $7,500, which is crazy because we did that from midnight till 5.30 a.m., the, the, the hours while everyone was asleep, right? While everyone was asleep, we were able to raise $7,500. How did we do it? Well, basically, people decided that they were going to pass on their cup of Starbucks this morning, and they were going to give 5 or $10 to Michelle. People decided they were going to skip out on a dinner out this week, and they are going to give $50 to Michelle. My good friend Josh Cummins... 
Josh Cummins went in and dropped two thousand dollars and on top of dropping two thousand dollars to help michelle josh cummins also agreed to do four hours of prayer which to me is even more powerful than the two grand he committed to four hours of prayer do you know what four hours for that guy means what that what that's equivalent to josh cummins is a busy dude man but he cares he cares deeply about people making a difference on this planet he understands that michelle can't go through this alone he understands that her and chad and those boys need help they need their tribe they need their community they need you they need me they need rise and grind they need sales hustlers they need all of us they need all of us right now to come together to come together as just this massive massive uh community they need us to come together and lift them up they need us to lift them up on their shoulders. Or, eh, they need us. I'm telling you, it's rough. Two hours of sleep. They need us to lift them up on their shoulders and literally carry them. So if you haven't done so already, I need you to click the link. Well, first, if you haven't done so already, I need you to hit the share button. You need to get that out of the way. You got to hit the share. Now, I know I say this on every show, and you're like, Glenn, you're always talking about me sharing. But I'm telling you, right now, if you care then you need to share not just my video but if you care you need to share everybody's video during this 24-hour live -thon. if you care I need you to share it's really really important that's how we grow this thing right the Bible talks about how God took a loaf of bread and he was able to feed thousands well that's how it works with this when we each hit that share button it allows us to expand and to reach thousands tens of thousands hundreds of thousands now, see, Michelle's going to be on live, and I'm sorry, I'm sniffling a little bit. It's, again, like asleep. Uh, you know what I'll do? Hold on just a second. I got a video for you guys. Check this out. You don't believe in miracles? I got one for you. Tony and I have been married almost 13 years. The year after we were married, our first child, Brooke, was born. It was just always on our heart to have many children. We tried for years to have another child, and for some reason, we just never could conceive again. Eventually, we got very, very heartbroken, and we decided to become certified to become foster parents. So we adopted our first baby. A few years later, we adopted a teenager and our son, Alexander. We were just in shock when I found out I was pregnant. We had prayed for 10 years, and Gideon was just a huge answer to prayer. So right around Gideon's first birthday, we all sat down to eat lunch together, and, he, and his head was canted to the side. So I went to move his head up with my finger and he, and he screamed. So we knew we had taken to the pediatrician and they urged us to visit the children's hospital. But we went knowing that they weren't gonna find anything. So when they came back with the CT scan, surgeons came in and they said, your son has a brain tumor. Our world just stopped. If he was immediately going into a pediatric intensive care unit, there were no questions asked. He was going to have surgery immediately. We called on everyone, and I, I just called through the tears, and I said, I need you to pray. He went in to have the tumor resection, where they removed the tumor, and that's a nine-and-a-half-hour surgery. To see your child, and, and he's a 12-month-old child. He, all he wants to do is play, and he, he couldn't. You just feel so helpless. So directly after the surgery, his body was failing. They gave Gideon medication, but he had tears, tears coming down his face, and my heart just broke into pieces. I just prayed, you know, God, I need you. And God just gave me the most beautiful vision of these angels. They were surrounding Gideon. He had all this hair, and he was laughing, and he was smiling. And it was perfect peace. And so for that moment, I knew, no matter what the outcome was going to be, that God had our baby. So he spent 30 days recovering in the ICU. They biopsied the tumor and discovered that he had nodular desmoplastic medulloblastoma, which is brain cancer. Like, how do you even fathom, you know, your child has cancer? The question immediately is, you know, God, why would you bless us with this just to take it away from us? What did we do so wrong? But we were surrounded by family, friends, our church family. The outpouring of support and faith was just so immediate and so vast. So that's when I said, you know what, we're gonna pray 
that God is going to use this for something. This is not the end. This is going to be the beginning. So just as a way of coping, we started a Facebook page, Prayers for Gideon, and we would write status updates and we would ask for specific prayers of healing. So after 30 days in the ICU, Gideon just turned a corner and he began chemotherapy. A lot of the chemotherapy treatments are dependent on white blood cell count. So at one point, Gideon had gone in to get his labs done and his white blood cell count was zero. In order for him to go home, Gideon's white blood cells needed to be 500. We were told to expect he would be in the hospital at least four or five days to achieve that 500 count. We begged for prayers from people and literally thousands of people prayed specifically that our son's white blood cell count would go up enough that we wouldn't have to postpone his treatment and God answered the call. His white blood cell count went from zero to 7,000 in less than eight hours. They had to run the test three times. No one could understand. God was healing our baby. You know, Gideon has gone through six months of chemotherapy and his last day of chemo is on the day before Thanksgiving. And it was just God's perfect timing. We had so much to be thankful for. And so he was gonna go in for an MRI and I called friends from the church and I said, he needed to come because there's gonna be a miracle. God's gonna heal Gideon. And so we had a four hour MRI and the oncologist came in and said, Gideon has no evidence of disease no cancer in his body. Some of the most amazing words in the world. It was right around Christmas time, like the best Christmas present ever. We have rejoiced and praised. We stop now and we listen to the birds sing and we look at the flowers. God has taught us so much about life and how to cherish each moment. This is the story of a little boy that was diagnosed with one of the most horrific diseases that we can think of and God blessed him and he came through it. It's not a road that we would have chosen, but God is always there. And he was with us. He never left us. I hope that, you know, people see Gideon's story and, and see hope. That they would trust God, maybe for the first time. And I often say, if one life was saved through Gideon having cancer, we would do that again. God has taught us that He can use someone so small to make such a big difference in the world. How about that, folks? How about that, folks? I like how he said they literally begged. <clears throat> they literally begged for prayers. And when they begged for prayers, they got tons of them, right? When they asked for them, they got tons of them. And they asked for their son specifically, his white blood cells. And he went from zero to 7,000 in hours. And then their son was healed. Here's why we're here, folks. This is why we're here, all right? Here's the breakdown. We'll break it down as simple as, as possible, okay? Our friend, Michelle, currently has a disease. She has a poison inside of her body, okay? A poison that, can, that is threatening her life, that could kill her. Do you understand? That's what she currently has inside of her body. Our friend, this incredibly amazing soul, this soft kind amazing person has this currently in her body threatening her life threatening to take her away from from us threatening to take her away from her teenage boys th threatening to take her away from from chad she it, it is currently threatening to take her away from us now i for one am a faithful human being i believe that god has a plan i believe that god god's will will be done I 100% believe that. And I, I also believe that, that heaven is a better place than here. I do believe that too. I believe heaven is a better place than here. But I don't want her to go. I don't want her to go. I just don't. And so the last thing that I believe and the last thing that I know is that when people come together in community, when people come together in prayer, when when two or more come together god is with them says the bible so as far as i'm concerned i'm not a two or more kind of guy i'm more of like a 200 or more kind of guy or maybe a 2000 or more kind of guy it's kind of the, the way i work so here's what we're doing today is our friend has this disease 
and she needs our prayers. She needs our prayers, and she needs as many of them as humanly possible. That's what she needs. She also needs finances. She needs money. She needs money so that she can pay for some of these treatments. She needs money so that she can at least try to maintain some some style of, of life that's current to what she's usually doing. So she can have some sense of normalcy because it's not normal. It's not normal to have something like this growing inside your body. It's not normal to have a poison inside you that could take you out. It's not normal. So we have to help her with the prayers. We have to help her with the shares, right? The more shares we put out there, the more prayers we can get. The more prayers we can get, the more noise we can make, the more, the more I believe that God's will can be swayed. I believe that if we come together and beg him, if we beg him, God, please don't take her. God, please heal her. God, please. We're not, we're not ready for her to go yet. God, we know and, and we understand that, that you, you are the creator of the universe. We know and we understand, God, that, that you have the ability to, to create miracles as you choose. God, we've seen your miracles. We've witnessed your miracles. I personally have witnessed so many miracles from you in my own life. I watched you lift me up out of the ocean. You lifted me up out of the ocean, God. You gave me life when, all, when, when I thought all there was was death. When I was ready to give up, you gave me life. Now our friend Michelle is here. Our friend Michelle, she's not like me. Michelle doesn't want to give up. Michelle, Michelle has the, a bright, shining light. She wants to live, God. She wants to live. And so I'm here asking you with all of my friends, my friends on the lives, my friends on the replays, the friends that watch later, the friends that watch now. God, I'm just asking. I'm asking that you, that you create a miracle. I'm asking that you reach down and you heal her. I'm asking that you put the right people together in this network so that as many people as humanly possible can see it, Lord, so they can see it, so we can raise awareness for Michelle. Lord, I'm asking that you help touch the hands and the pocketbooks of everyone that comes across one of these videos, Lord, and you get them to click on the link and to fight with Michelle, God. Put it on their heart to fight with Michelle. Lord, we ask you these things because we love her. We ask you these things because we absolutely love her, God. So in Jesus' name, I pray to you, will you please heal my friend? Will you please heal my friend, Lord? And will you please help her? Just, just, just help her fight through this, man. Just help her fight through this because she's a fighter. She wants to live. In Jesus' name, amen. That's the prayer, man. That's the prayer I'm going to pray. That's a prayer. I hope you guys will pray with me. I hope you'll drop into the comments. You know, if you're if you're if you're down with throwing out some prayer for Michelle, will you drop it in the comments? Will you will you put it in the comment? Will you commit to it? I know sometimes we say things like, "Oh, well, I'll pray for you." I, I know sometimes we say that in passing, "I'll pray for you," but we don't really mean it, right? Or maybe we mean it. We we mean it at the time, but then you know, time goes by or something comes up, and we just don't quite get to it. So I'm asking, drop it into the comments. Drop in the comments if you can commit to praying for my friend Michelle. Make sure you hit the share button on all these videos today. Share, 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 share. Change your profile pic to Michelle's picture if you got to. That's what a lot of us have been doing. We just went ahead and changed our profile pic to Michelle's picture. Right? Just put that picture in your profile so everybody can see her. Everybody can know what's going on. Let's lift up. Let's encourage. This has never been done before. There's never been a Facebook live-a-thon ever in the history of Facebook, in the history of the world. There's been telethons. There's never been a Facebook live-a-thon. How cool is that? You're a part of history. You're a part of history. So I'm going to dot you right between the eyes, man. We're not here to mess around. This isn't just to be all fun and, and games and everybody get together and smile and say good morning. This isn't just a regular episode of Rise and Grind where, where I'm going to lift and I'm going to encourage and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot all that out to you. No, 
This is where I'm going to ask you. This is where I'm going to beg you. I'm begging you to pray for my friend Michelle. I'm begging you to click the link, fightwithmichelle.com. I'm begging you to click the link, drop some dollars in there. I put my money where my mouth is earlier. I dropped $1,000 in there. Josh Cummins dropped $2,000 in there. Ali, Ali Rita, I believe it was, dropped $500 in there. My good friend Danelle Delgado, she dropped $100 in there. I saw people dropping all kinds of money in there. That was at 1 o'clock in the morning. Well, now it's a, it's basically a new day. We've all gotten just a hair of rest. Those of us that didn't stay up all night and watch every single video, we've all gotten a hair of rest. And those of you that are rising right now, those of you that are waking up right now, I need you to click the link. I need you to click the link. I need you to drop in some dollars. I need you to pass on the Starbucks today. Pass on it. Just pass on it. I know you don't want to hear that first thing in the morning, but I'm just telling you. Think about it, man. Think about it. There are things that you can pass up. There are things that you can give up. There are sacrifices that you can make right now because we all have first world stuff going on. This girl right here, this girl's got real stuff going on. She's got real stuff going on, and she needs our help, and we can help her. You can help her. Every dollar will help her. Every prayer will help her. Every share will help her. So I need you to jump in on that. I need you to jump in on that, all right? Cool? That got a little intense, right? That's because I'm for real. I'm for real. God has put this on my heart, and I believe in it. I believe that we can truly make a difference in this woman's life. I believe we can truly make a difference on this planet today. I believe that no one ever in the history of all time has ever done anything like this. But I think God put it God put it on the hearts and the minds. Sean and Ken and, and Lisa. Sean put it on Sean put it put it uh, God put it on our hearts and our minds because he's gonna do something with it. He's gonna do something with it. Right? And I'm already excited. I'm already excited. Just imagine. Just imagine that we do the 24-hour Facebook Live-a-thon. And just imagine that we raise like $50,000 or $100,000 for Michelle. And just imagine that she gets through a couple of these treatments. And just imagine that hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people around the world are praying for Michelle. Just imagine that God is sitting up there in heaven and he's looking down and he's watching his people come together for a cause. He's watching us all shout out in his praise. He's watching us all believe with all of our hearts and our minds and our souls that he can fix this problem. And he's sitting there and he's looking and he's proud because we're coming together because we get it because we're doing what he asked us to do. We're coming together in his name. We're lifting up and encouraging we're making sacrifices we're doing it selfishly and just imagine when he watches all that imagine how it makes him feel and imagine how he's gonna reach down and he's gonna touch our friend and he's gonna heal our friend and then he's gonna reach down and he's gonna talk to each and every one of us and he's gonna heal us and he's gonna increase our blessings because we sacrificiously sacrificially and unselfishly gave up everything we could give up to help our friend not because we have to not because we have to but because God God gave us this powerful ability to create this powerful ability to choose to do the right thing and the right thing in this case is really simple all across the nation whether you're watching the replay or you're watching live the, 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 the solution, the right thing to do is simple. The right thing to do is hit the share button. Pray, 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 pray. And click on the link. Fightwithmichelle.com. Let's raise the funds. My man Scott Simons is up next. Make sure you go over to Scott Simons. Click on his. Hit the share button as well. Let's keep this 24-hour live Facebook live-a-thon Rolling. It's been going for six hours now. Six hours. We got 18 hours left. Let's rock and roll. I love you guys. You're truly amazing. Have an incredible day today. I'll be seeing you all day throughout all the live streams and all the feeds, shares, prayers, and dollars for my friend Michelle. Do what you can, all right?
do what you can. And I'll see you guys manana on hashtag rise.